What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another interview with Dream. Today, we talked about the John Swan drama previously. However, we're going to be talking about the stands. I've made plenty of videos on stands. I've made my position clear on stands in general, including Dream stands. And it'd be interesting to actually get Dream's opinion and insight into these stands and actually having these stands as fans. It's one thing to be a creator and look at these stands and, you know, not enjoy, not like them. But yeah, I think today we'll make for a good conversation. Dream, welcome again to the channel. I appreciate you doing a <laughs> Another Thank interview you. for me, not one, two, back to back. <laughs> this is going to be great. So let me just talk about first your opinion on stands and stand culture in general. Because I know, and this is something I say in my videos, I know there are two sides to stands. There obviously are the stands who respectfully support and, you know, enjoy your content. And there's nothing wrong with anyone enjoying anything, in my opinion. However, the problem I have with, and it's clear in my videos, are the really the extreme stands, which there are a lot of because your audience is so big who will do these crazy things such as draw not safe for work images of creators who are minors and even go as far as to you know make these gore arts of you which i find myself disturbing and it's not even me you know so let's get your yeah. opinion on um first of all the stand culture first let's just talk about that in general in general terms yeah um well i think that i think a lot of it is that it is a little bit of a generalization because like with a lot of like this is coming from me who i've been knee deep in terms of like twitter and really deep into the community of uh, you know of of what you what most people would say are stands and i think that there's there's very it's such a small minority like when you mention like oh you know drawing gore or whatever like i've seen two drawings of that that have been like mentioned before ever and when you're talking about me with 18 million subscribers and you know millions of followers on twitter and like you said like tons of interactions and everything two ever that i've seen i'm sure i'm sure there's probably more yeah, but from what are. i've seen two ever and, and even that, and that's mostly from people posting and saying oh look how, look how gross this is or whatever i would assume that that makes that it's a very small community um and so me saying that is is not me excusing that behavior i think it's disgusting i think that you know gore art and and not safe for work um is disgusting especially if it's a minor drawing it that's disgusting as well i think that it, to me though it's that people blow that up and try and use it as an argument against um stands in general and go oh stands are so horrible because they do this and this whereas i i you know i interact with tens of thousands uh, you know of, of quote unquote stands every day that make up a larger community of probably like a million um and i've i've very very rarely seen either of those things and what i one one thing i was talking about with um with like sapnap the other day who also again has, has like a lot of stands is like you literally pretty much have to go to like dream and george sex.com in order to find <laughs> not safe for work art you know what i mean like it's yeah. you're not going to just find it just by browsing on twitter or whatever i, I was making jokes about like oh most people who, who find that stuff there it's because they want to go oh well do they actually do that and they look it up it's curiosity and as so well, i think of a lot of people with like whether this is real yeah and, um i personally found it through um there's like an account on twitter that um that is dedicated to it i can't remember the name of it now i i mentioned it in my video that post like these artworks that they find and people send him apparently the, apparently your stands even participate in this account and uh send <laughs> this art which i think in a way eggs it on a bit because it gets likes and retweets and i think a lot of it does egg on a, a bit however it's where i found most of my stuff for my videos where i criticized the stands for this behavior and i yeah. also i uh, want to touch on this clip i used because you informed me that, that this clip was uh of you giving your opinion with who was it um uh who was in that video with you george and Sapna yeah, george, yeah perfect um where you were saying that basically that you don't care if if you are you know drawn or you know fa any fan fiction anyway and then you briefly touch on the minors and that it's not okay to draw minors and stuff like this and then you go on to say how much you don't care which in my opinion gave the message the, the overall message of that video was i don't care and then it had a tiny bit about the minor stuff whereas i think i would have liked to have seen it more you know condemned in terms of just a little bit longer of just talking about it rather because you go straight back to the i don't care message however i think uh you get a lot of flack for not denouncing these not safe for work drawings and you said to me now that um i think privately as well that you have denounced these but i can't i mean in that video you did but i couldn't find other cases of this i know i might might just be ignorant to it because i don't really look what yeah. Content. I did post a, a tweet. Um, it was after this stuff. So just to give context on that video, that video was before like any of this. Like that video, like I don't. Remember, it was from a long time ago. Um, and it was not in relation to any of this. I think you told me on DMs it was like last summer, like the summer before last. Yeah, it was like July, I think, in 2020. Yeah, uh, maybe it wasn't like Dream SMP was just like kind of starting right then. 
happened and I wasn't really making content. I, I wasn't making content with any miners or anything. And it was literally just strict that at the time it was strictly about like George not found, which is or dream not found, which is literally just like the, the ship between me and George. And I was like, look, we don't care about that. Like, and I think people being caring on our behalf is just kind of, you know, like why, 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 if we don't care, why, why should you care? Um, but that was not at all about like drawing artwork of miners and stuff. What I didn't like is I didn't like people saying, you know, it, at this point, like Tommy has like, you know, six, almost 7 million subscribers. And somehow it's my fans that are, that are drawing like art of him or something. Um, yeah. but I think it's because the general, you know, a lot of the Minecraft community has shared fans. And so it, a lot of stuff is blamed on me for that. But, but yeah, no, I, I, I did tweet out, like, I totally, I totally denounce, um, any not safe work art of miners or anybody who doesn't want it, or like, I wouldn't say one X that's weird. Um, but anyone that doesn't care um yeah. or anyone that does care and uh and yeah i don't, I don't approve of that i think it's gross um, i think it's disgusting but i do think also that by addressing it you egg people on because i think that generally that type of stuff's gonna happen anyway like you, you probably heard like rule 34 right that's like it's been like an internet thing for yeah. like a long time it's gonna happen like you can find it with like scooby-doo and shrek probably like that that is like I, that's now now that i said it that's it, there's definitely you're definitely gonna be able oh, to find yeah, it for sure. but but the point being that so i think by pointing it out it just makes more people that are in that that are you know are weird or whatever might find that community and more be more likely to participate in it and so i've always kind of had the mindset of with stuff like that where it's kind of like you know they know it's weird if they're doing it they know it's weird like there's no way they don't know that what they're doing is weird and disgusting they know it's just for whatever reason that makes them happy and so if they're you know he tweeting out hey stop drawing you know board of miners isn't going to make them go oh you're right you know what i mean but yeah i, I have tweeted out before that i that yeah, i, I definitely agree don't support with, i agree with what you're saying it's not i don't think it's going to stop it i think from the outside looking in for someone like me who's not really involved with the minecraft community or your content it's just like if i saw that tweet where you were were saying that I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, Dream clearly has a stance against it, which I think was like a lot of people were like saying it was harder. It was harder to find your definitive kind of answer to it. But like you said, the video I used was from Summer of Last because you mentioned not safe for work miners in the context of that video too. It was easy to think it was addressing the current yeah, climate. Yeah, no, I don't blame you at all. It was insane. The parallels were just like it was like it could have been. You could have just re-uploaded that, and that would have been that. You know, totally. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's one of these things where it's now you said this on this uh interview as well i think people will be glad to hear because i don't know i don't watch your videos enough so you might have even addressed this in a video but i haven't heard it personally so i think people will like to hear that from you as well because it is weird i think people for example my videos i think as, as well as you know people can't won't stop doing it i think people also have a right to like look at it and to be disgusted by it and to react by it because it is part of the internet sure it's part yeah. of the part of the fandom it's a part of your fandom's history that it's always going to be there you know i know <laughs> it's a small part of it but it is a part because you're such a big youtuber the small part is like bigger than most youtubers audience because it's you know it relative yeah to, you know over nearly 20 what nearly 20 million subscribers you've got or something like crazy yeah and that, that's kind of that's the thing as well it's like yeah obviously people look at it and go well that's bigger than that, that, you can't say that's normal because it's bigger than most youtube but it's like yeah but obviously my whole fan base in general is much bigger than yeah. most youtubers but yeah no I, I think it's totally fair for people to if they want to to seek it out and make fun of it or whatever i just think i i, I don't and i don't I, I i'm like okay well i'm just gonna ignore it and not see it i don't think it's unfair for people to point it out and go oh this is gross yeah yeah, that's gross. <laughs> I, I agree. I just think it's not going to do anything by saying it's gross because they don't care. Now, a question I want to ask you first, but what's the weirdest thing while we're on this topic? What's the weirdest thing a Stan has ever done or like sent you that you can recollect? Like uh, something you thought, oh, don't know about that. Is there anything that comes to mind? Um, when you ask that question? <laughs> uh, it's kind of trigger warning. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I remember, I remember what it was. I think somebody sent me, they had like cut you know, like in their arm, oh, um, which that obviously that's horrible. And, and it, I, I remember seeing it, but like, oh my God, um, but like it, it's, thing. yeah, yeah. And I said, that's disgusting. And, um, and I felt bad, but, um, but yeah, that's probably, that's probably the worst, but then again, I, and that, I think, but I, I do, I just want to preface. I, I think that this is me coming from me who I've seen stuff like that. And I've seen horrible stuff and I've seen it and I still look at it and recognize. Yeah. Uh, but I also have literally tens of thousands of DMs of, hey, you changed my life. Hey, yeah. so I have that balance where I can see, I see both. Whereas somebody else might only see the negative because that's what's talked about in the comic community or that's what's talked about yeah. um, publicly. Whereas I, I see both sides. Yeah, of course. Um, I think that's a lot of so YouTubers think, can relate yeah. to that as well in terms of like you get the horrible comments and you get the weird parts of the fan base, but you also get the people who support you and the genuine people who aren't. Because I think there is a line with stands, which in my head, because I've dealt with so many different stands because of the nature of my content there's a line of like where there's like crazy obsessed where like it's almost like to someone like me it's like what is even going on like how how can you even like you know be so yeah. obsessed over one thing as if it's your whole life you know like 
like that will ne I'll never understand that ever because I've never ever felt like that over something I guess because yeah when I'm older to me it, it, it's also to me this is why I think it's another reason why I can relate so much is that I always compare it to football because I remember when I grew up like when I grew up and I was I was so into college football because my you know my team um, went to the national championship in college and I had like I had jerseys I had socks I had short I had shorts I had posters in my room I had signed car I had cards i had signed my like literally my profile picture back then what was was a, a player like holding a flag of the team yeah. and um and like i was like i would talk about it I, I participated in like football online games i participated in like everything like my literally well i wouldn't say it's my life but you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. To, to somebody who see, saw me they think that's like my life and so to me it's like when you're extremely passionate about something and it makes you happy and it makes you you know we're, we're that could be whatever it is whether it be cooking or it be yeah. um or you know or, or it be a minecraft youtuber um but i think that that that's where it, you know that why that's where you would look at it and go okay well those are the you know those are the stands i'm okay with or whatever in terms yeah. of um from like the normal from someone normal's viewpoint because that that's what i when i see somebody that has their profile picture as me or as tommy or as um sapnap or somebody um that's what i think i think of oh wow this is a dedicated fan who yeah. who really does make it a big part of their life because that's what makes them happy literally that, that's all that i see when i see i see that but I, a lot of people see like oh you're obsessed or you yeah. you make it your whole life um but that's why i think i because i have that perspective of being like a, a hardcore football fan for whatever reason i have that understanding going like i wasn't i was wasn't weird like maybe the outside people would think i'm weird but i wasn't weird i was just like passionate yeah um, yeah i agree i understand what you're saying but also as well you're very i think desensitized to these stands and the behavior of them whereas um people like you know me and the commentary community for example our experience with stands is mostly negative because these stands exactly will flood our pages and they'll you know just go off on us if we even speak out against you which is why i do have to yeah. admit i do take a bit of you know i do troll them quite a bit and i do take you know twitter <laughs> and i troll them a little bit because I, you get bombarded with hundreds and hundreds of these stands you know coming at you it's nice to try you know oh yeah you have to try you know fight your way back or troll them somehow you know because it's just that's just yeah. the internet in my opinion i don't think there's anything wrong i with think it. yeah i think i think the reason for that literally is just that there's such a difference in opinion like yeah. the demographic is so different like your fans and you you know the demographic you know whether it be older, um, and I'd say mostly mostly boys or men, um, versus uh, you know v versus the demographic of stands, or especially on Twitter, being more being more girls and younger. Um, I think that so, like it's just so such clashing. Their lives are so different. Their opinions are so different. And like you'll see even like you know I've gotten so many like after videos in the commentary community made hate comments and spammed on my tweets and stuff. That's the same thing that stands will do whenever they see something like that. And so it's not that it's different. It's just that you'll experience one side and I'll experience the other side because we have fan bases that have different completely different yeah, for sure. viewpoints. Um, and so I think it's obviously like you don't want to support somebody who um, you, you don't want to support that but it happens with it happens with commentary YouTubers it happens with lots of everybody out there but. it definitely happens with, yeah with commentary the content it's definitely amplified with me because I have I, I've I've garnered a large base but, yeah. by being supportive and by and stuff which well, has definitely that made that it a bigger issue but. from stands and I think commentary fans is that stands are like a collective where they have like group chats and they have like all these um, different platforms where because you'll notice like stands will just spam you with the same phrase sometimes you've like why are they all spamming the same thing? Copy pasta. Yeah, yeah, but because they all have like these group chats and they're more of like a collective unit where like commentary is just like independent viewers who are going to go and talk to you. They're not going to be in group chats with other commentary fans. You know what I mean? It's a lot. I, yeah, I, I totally agree. They're, they're way more like organized. Yeah, like, it's more yeah. of like an organized unit than like than just like a bunch of bunch. Like, it, it may be the same amount, but it's it is different when it's like they're very focused and like have this yeah. same like energy. And that and I think it, I think that also is because of the platform they're on because it's mostly Twitter versus like on commentary channels stuff. It's, it'd be probably mostly YouTube. And I think on twitter it is very easy to get organized it's very easy to have group chats very easy to like retweet and then all your followers now see that tweet of someone else and then now they retweet and then all their followers see it and so it's like anything you know you can have a somebody in the you know there's there's like stands on twitter that have twenty thousand followers you yeah know, that are, like, that's just insane Some um, and i think that's because the community's crazy. grown so much like they'll have twenty thousand follower accounts and be getting like nearly like ten thousand likes on tweets and stuff like it's, it's insane some of the engagement and you know the growth they receive these stands because it is a, a big collective with one goal and one kind of supporter in mind <laughs> well i wouldn't you. say one goal but yeah i'd say i'd say common interest they, they have like very common interest well their only goal and, is to um... defend and love you <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know I, I, I wouldn't necessarily agree but I, yeah i'd say it is obviously something that they have they have shared with each other is usually yeah, that they for sure they would be supportive of me yeah. um or of whatever creator that they're they're like a fan of but are you ever careful to play too much into the relationship with stands do you think because of the big tweet that I think I, I referenced in my interview, the first interview was when you called, compared your fans <laughs> to kittens and people 
gen generally found that tweet quite weird because yeah no i mean that, that, the thing is like everything i say i have to be like so careful what i say because obviously my fans understood but like even my friends were like making fun of me like me and me and George, we like we were laughing with each other and he's like he's like you couldn't have at least said like dogs or something and i was like laughing i was like i i literally didn't like i didn't think of that i wasn't thinking of kitten as like a weird word and i didn't say my fans are my kittens i said they're i said like i i, I was trying to explain parasocial relationships and i was trying to explain that i don't love them like i would love a friend of mine like i would love a family member or like a significant other but i love them more like i would love a kitten because i would see a kitten on the street and i would and, and, and i would walk up to go, oh i love you so much like that's that's amazing like you you are you're cute you're you know whatever like honestly, that's not for stands <laughs> i'm not saying that i'm saying for like a, a kitten you know um yeah. and so that, that's what i was trying to put into words and so when i said when i said uh, when i said kitten but now in hindsight that was really dumb i'm looking back and going okay well that was like the dumbest thing i, I should I, even if i had just replaced that like, that <laughs> word with with like something else it, people would have yeah. nobody would have had a problem with it but kitten because it's had like this discord kitten whatever yeah. like meme and stuff it's like it's just such a it's like you know like when when uh you probably not in the community but when bad Boy halo tweeted like his his dog calling him daddy or something yeah. and it was like I mean, everyone thought found that so weird and it was like yeah it's just because that word has been like yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, desensitized or whatever but yeah i had no that was totally just me i had no after i look back on it and go yeah that's kind of weird <laughs> um, but that's not my intentions weren't weird but yeah <laughs> it's quite funny to re look at as well i don't know i'm sure yeah, it's you, funny your it's friends funny. rip you like any friends you rip into you for it because i mean they were saying that they were like yeah we get what you meant but you should you should have said it differently yeah. and i was like yeah, yeah yeah so do you think will you be more careful with the way you talk about like fans and stands in the future do you think or do you think because i know a lot of creators i don't know if you do this actually which i'm curious do you uh like go into these group chats and talk to these fans and stands every now and then or do you kind of keep a distance where you know they have their own thing and you have your thing and that's it oh i don't go into group chats or anything i've definitely i've dm i i've uh, on my on one of my accounts that i that i use mostly for fan interaction i've i've done q a's and i've i've replied to i reply to stands fairly frequently i mean i've replied not not i've not recently but i in, in the past i've replied to stands dms and stuff mostly just saying oh thank you and yeah. stuff like that to people's dms but no i i don't join group chats and stuff mostly because it's just they get spammed and it's annoying yeah, but yeah. but yeah I, I don't i mean i don't have like such a i don't have i have i'm definitely i am careful about what i say but i also know like even with that like i i don't believe that did any harm i think it mostly just became like a meme and it, it's like i got a lot of hate for it from people that didn't understand what i meant and i was like okay i should have said so i just learned oh I, I just really need to be careful about the way i say things um because people can misinterpret them and um and use them against me or use them yeah. to form their own opinion and it's not unreasonable for me to see that and go oh that's kind of weird therefore dream is weird and i look at that and go okay well i gotta be careful I don't want I don't want that image or anything but because a year ago you like we talked about this you had a million subscribers so i assumed you didn't really have like crazy stands because there's i think that's like shift of fame and like really propelled you is like the, the way the stands like grow and like cultivate when did you notice you started having these like massive group of stands like really backing you because i'm sure it didn't just come overnight i remember when i first started um so i i, I had i this is kind of crazy i, I had a thousand subs in july of 2019 wow and so I like obviously I had to adjust to having a fan base in a short period of time. So I made a lot of I made a lot of dumb mistakes throughout my career or whatever leading up to now. And I still make dumb mistakes, but um, but I, I do remember um, I know Skeppy originally had like a large uh, stand base when I first started, and I remember slowly starting to notice. Oh, I'm noticing more and more like dream profile pictures and stuff on my timeline than I'm noticing Skeppy when originally I would only see like Skeppy profile pictures. I think it was literally just a gradual thing, but it was like an exponential. <laughs> I don't know this kind of contradicts, but it it was it wasn't it wasn't instantaneous, but it was also like very consistent growth you know yeah, yeah, yeah. um so it wasn't really i never really was like oh wow now i have all of a sudden i have all these you know all, all these all these fans but yeah i think it was it probably would have been around um like march yeah march of uh, last year probably i'd say and do you think that you'll ever do some sort of meet up with your stands whenever this inevitable face reveal comes about do you think you'll ever you know uh, play into the yeah. real life yeah is that something you would look forward to doing i would definitely uh, yeah I, I really look forward to doing that I, th I think it's something where I, I to me fame came in so so quickly that i i didn't have time to help with my fans than than like the average creator would have i'm very like even though i may not seem it like publicly i'm very emotional like i'm an emotional person and um you know even seeing messages and stuff sometimes <laughs> you know make me teary-eyed and stuff and and yeah. um i think that's something that just being able to make people happy because i know you they seem dumb like even to me it can look at it and go like oh you know it's kind of dumb like somebody somebody you know getting to meet me and then crying about it it's like yeah but but it is a huge deal like it is it even if even if it may be ridiculous to someone else like it is a huge deal to them yeah. and you can do it's nothing to you it, it not, it's nothing to me you know yeah. seeing somebody give them a hug whatever and to them it's everything and that to me that 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 really is a power you have as a creator that i think i try and use as much as i can because i think yeah. it's good but i know people some people disagree with that i think that kind of stems back to everything i do in terms of my fans and stuff would you hire security <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah, I have security, uh, but I mean, it yeah, wouldn't be like, uh, I think... <laughs>
<laughs> snipers on the roof um but i think most people most people you know most most like big creators and stuff would have security anyway yeah 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 for um, sure. but it'd be it'd be the security would be just as much for people who don't like me than it would be for people who do so yeah i guess yeah fair point to make yeah that's crazy actually because i guess that will only happen after the face is revealed because if you turn up with your mask someone's going to try and rip that shit off <laughs> yeah. yeah i wouldn't do a meetup until i've done a face reveal yeah. i wouldn't be surprised if i did like a face reveal at a meetup or something oh um, now that would be mad if you actually did that <laughs> when is the face reveal i have to ask it uh I, i'll say i'll say that this is an exclusive um i i've 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 been planning i i think i i think i want to do it very early next year um but hope that's only that'll only be if corona's if corona is, is is gone but that's been my that's been my plan for a little bit and i have a lot of stuff planned like kind of around then um that could fall through but i i do want to do it it's just again i, I think i said on the the drama alert but uh, it's just covid and stuff yeah, yeah and i want to be able to do it when my friend george who's in the uk when he's here i, I wouldn't want to do it unless he's here because he's been in all my videos and been there since the beginning um and i think it'd be really cool to do it i don't want to do it in like a youtube video or something so doing it somewhere um or doing video? it in some big way no it wouldn't be a youtube video i mean i maybe post one later on but what would it be then? Um, well how would you would it just be like a tweet or something or what well yeah i'd probably do like a tweet along with it but I, I really would want to do it like a meetup or something or Man. in some way where it's like more You're of an event on, like, than it is like crazy views though <laughs> what I mean, would you predict that face reveal would get actually? i'm interested in that if you made a face reveal right now how many views does that get less than my normal videos really yeah i disagree man come on that's gonna be a massive I, even people I, I who don't, don't watch don't. minecraft would tune into that yeah but for how long you know you click the video watch time goes down you click off because you could just want to see the yeah. face click off watch time goes True. down um i i, I just and also it, like it depends on what i would do if i did like a minecraft something with my face in it maybe that'd get more because yeah. it'd be like the first time i've done it i think i could do it in a way where it gets more but my i mean my videos get like it's hard to beat the views that my videos yeah, get anyway sure. i'd be surprised would you make more, videos but... with no face cam still after the face reveal um no i i don't think i'll ever do a face cam videos maybe though i don't know i think i do face cam streams maybe i don't know i'd really I, it'd be something i'll have to face whenever yeah, that comes around to, but yeah, for sure that's interesting so we've got the exclusive scoop but I've re i really appreciate you coming on and talking about the stands i think we covered a majority of it especially this interview i can't lie people watching at home wasn't uh very prepared for but i think we did a good job anyway and covered quite a fair bit and got a good insight into your opinion on stands and everything that i think people had questions about which i really appreciate because it kind of rounds off my whole saga on you and your stands as well nice and in a way that maybe I don't deserve because I should talk to them, but <laughs> the fact you came on as well is massive respect because not many people. Do yeah. That, so I mean, I, I like I like reaching across the aisle. That's something I'll, I'll always. And I know I know even Keemstar mentioned it on his on Drama Alert, but like I, I, I that's something I, I pride myself on doing. Is I like hearing differing opinions. I, I genuinely do. And even if I came in here and you were screaming at the top of your lungs, like I'd still sit there and be like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I understand. I understand where you're yeah. coming from. But I think that that's it. yeah. I think it's really good to because I know obviously most people that watch this video probably aren't going to be on my side, and I think that's that that's fine and as long as they, they hear my viewpoint and yeah they, they don't have to understand it they just hear it then it's fine but, but yeah no thanks for having me and um, i'm sure i'm sure they'll probably, you'll probably be making stand videos in the future so i mean i'm not i don't think this will stop it or anything but i mean um, there's not really yeah, much at least we'll have more insight there's not really feel, much so. more to say at this point um other than what has already been said i think so i don't think anything that'll be the case i think your conversation we've had a great conversation i think people will enjoy i don't think people are gonna hate on you based on this at all no, of course i think we had a good i think we've had a good two conversations actually because it's the second interview i think uh the coming together of two different opinions actually makes for probably more entertaining interviews than the opposite so i um, really appreciate this i think people go, uh, really really, yeah i really this. enjoyed it thank you I, enjoyed it. I appreciate it it was good to get to know you as well and get to talk to you that's it that's it for this interview dream's been a legend everything else has gone on first interview if you haven't already seen it about the whole drama of john swan will be linked down below as well because this is coming out afterwards that is it for this video go check out dream he doesn't need my plugs at all but you know <laughs> common courtesy and yeah that's it until next time fuck off